Hello and welcome to the GCC Inova video tutorial for creating document templates within Microsoft CRM. Okay, so we're going to start by coming into CRM. I'm in the contacts area here. And first of all, to create a document, you need to choose on what you're likely to use this document for. Is it going to be from accounts? Is it going to be from contacts? Or is it going to be from leads? Because once the document is created, you'll only be able to use it from that particular area. So here I'm going to create one for contact. So I've just select an individual contact, come up to create the mail merge, come onto the mail merge dialog box. I'm going to create from a blank document. Obviously next time through when I create the merge, I can pick up the template I'm about to create. And I'm just going to do it for the selected record at the moment because I'm creating the template, not actually the merge. Data fields here allows you to select which columns you want to synchronize down to your Word document. Um, at the moment I'm just going to take what it offers, but you'll be able to put in any of your particular columns up to a maximum of 62 there. So I'm just going to take it as is and click on OK. system will then go through and open up Word. So here's a list of the contacts that I'll be including in this particular mode. So there's just the one at the moment. I just need to select an OK. And over on the right hand side here, I've got my mail merge help. So I just come down to the bottom here and come on to write your letter. And then from here, I can start to insert some of the fields from CRM. So I'm going to select more items. And here we have some of the database fields. I'm just going to select first name and a last name for now, just so we can see that come through. So now once we're in Word, we can <coughs> manipulate these fields as normal. Those will synchronize through from CRM. We can carry on and insert all sorts of other things, pictures, etc. So I'm just going to pick up a picture we have here, copy from there, and insert into here. Okay, so pictures, we can insert hyperlinks in two, so I can select a particular hyperlink in, so perhaps I want to return email address. And that will then email back to our sales account. <coughs> so once that uh, is actually created as a merge document, people will be able to click on that and it will automatically open up an email back to our sales account. But that's enough now just to get the principles of how a merge works. So we can now move on to preview the letters and there we see the contact name has come through from CRM you can use the forward and back arrows here to cycle through your re recipients when you actually get through to the full merge and next we just need to complete the merge now here depending on where we started the merge we'll have various choices if you've chosen the electronic email merge then here you'll be able to do the email merge but for us at the moment we want to just upload the template to CRM so I'm going to select there, and it's asking me if I want to create a new mail merge template, which I'm going to say yes. It will then bring up a CRM dialog box, just to ask me some information about that template. So the name of the template, I'm going to call it Tutorial Template. And you can add in a bit more description there as to what this template is for. Notice down here I've got the file attachment already there. As standard, when you add in the template, it will be available only to you. If you wish to make it available to the organization, you can do so here. And then the normal security rules apply to anything that people can see within an organization. So I'm happy with that so far. So I'm going to click on Save and Close there. That's now added that back as a template within CRM. I just need to close down my word to stop the CRM mail merge, so that's OK there. I don't want to save changes to my Word document there, so that's Word closed down. I can come back to my CRM, back over to settings, back into my templates, into my mail merge templates, 
and there I have my tutorial template. At any point in time I can open up the template through here and continue to edit. But ordinarily now when I create a mail merge I'll now be able to select from that particular template. So if I come back into contact, back into Alison Brown, select mail merge here, choose a letter, I'm going to choose my personal mail merge template Click on here, I have my template available now, my tutorial template. Click on OK. Again, I can change things if I want to amend the merge as I go through, but I'm going to select OK for now, and that will then open up Word, and I'm free to carry on through as normal. So that is creating a mail merge template within CRM.